you might find you have some text which you continually end up typing again and again for example a company name or an address so to save you from doing that uh, Microsoft Word now introduces something called quick parts and what we can do with this is we can select the text for example I've got an address here and if I just press my left mouse button down and select it and what I can do is come up here to the insert tab and come along here to where it says text and I've got an icon here that says quick parts so if I select that there's an option here that says save selection to the quick part gallery so now if I select that I can now give it a name for example call it my address click the OK button now if I were to create a new document and if I wanted to now insert that quick part I come up here to the insert tab and come along to the section that says text and press the button here that says quick parts and here's the actual name that I gave to that um, quick part that we created my address and at this point I can position it either at this cursor point here or I can move the cursor by using the tab key in this case to where I want to position the text so I come back here to quick parts select it and you can either right click on this box and you've got a few options insert at current document position or any of these other ones or you can just click on this box here and it will insert it where you want it so I'm just going to right click on the box there and do insert at current document position and we can see that that address that quick part address has been inserted so now I do not have to type that address every time so I could just get on with typing my letter so that saves me a lot of time by doing that if I wanted to delete that quick part I just select it again and come down here to the building blocks organizer now at this point I could select another one of these um, quick parts that by clicking this button at the top name we could probably sort it and look for it down here here it is my address so just select it there and press the delete key here and it's gone so now that's gone completely so now just click the close button so if we wanted to do use this again we'd have to create a brand new quick part for that address and use it the next time because we've now deleted it you can also add special characters or symbols to your document now first thing you would do is you would position the cursor where you want the symbol to appear so I'm just going to position my cursor here for example come up to the insert tab on the ribbon and then come along to the end here where it says symbols and you could select a symbol here and if you see your symbol amongst these and just select it so I'm going to select this one here this pound sign in it goes alternatively you've got something at the bottom here saying more symbols and you could select from one of these for example here's a copyright symbol select that then click the insert button and when you're finished with that just click close and we can see here the copyright symbol has been inserted you also have an option of further symbols so if I come up here again and click symbol click more symbols and we've got a tab at the top here saying special characters so by selecting that so I've got another um, selection of things that I can possibly use there's one here called trademark so if I select that and click insert now click close notice here the TM trademark symbol has now appeared on the document if you have an online blog you can use Microsoft Word to create a blog post and then post it directly up into your blog now to do that we need to come on along here to the file tab and come along to the new button here and I'll select that and there's an option here called blog post so if I just double click that immediately I'll get a box here saying register a blog account so if I now click the register now button 
You can also do this later by clicking register later, but I'll just click register now to show you what happens. And at this point you have to select your blog provider. So by pressing the down arrow there you get a list of blog providers. Generally WordPress is a common one, so if I select that and do next. It's then going to ask me for my blog post URL, where I want to send it, and also the username and password. So I'm not going to do that for now. Click cancel. So at this point we could enter a blog title here. Um, and just start typing away. Um, So you can continue typing until you flesh out the blog a bit more. And when you're ready to post it, just click the publishing button up here. And remember, when you actually create your blog post, you've got all the word formatting facilities available. And uh, it's good to take advantage of these. So when you're ready, just click the publish button. And again, it's going to ask you for some account details for your blog. And just select one and fill out those account details and it will just publish it straight up into your blog.